hello students so uh, in this video i am discussing about second problem of uh, pelton wheel okay so a single uh, jet impulse turbine of uh, 10 megawatt capacity is to work under a uh, head of uh, 500 meter if the specific uh, speed is uh, 10 okay and uh, overall efficiency is 0.8 okay that is 80 percent and uh, the coefficient of velocity which is equals to 0.98 okay find the diameter of the jet and the bucket uh, wheel okay pi value is 0.46 okay so pi value is given that is 0.46 okay so write down all the given data that is a uh, power p is given that is 10000 kilowatt and uh, head h is given that is 500 meter ns given that is a specific speed that is 10 uh, and overall efficiency is given 80 percent and cv is given 0.98 okay and uh, d here caps d we have to find and small d we have to find okay so here first we uh, substitute the values uh, to the formula that is ns is equals to n into uh, p raised to 1 by 2 divided by h raised to 5 by 4 okay so this formula is you already known okay substitute all the values that is uh, ns is known and uh, here we have to find n okay that is a uh, speed okay so ns is given that is uh, 10 which is equals to n into square root of uh, p that is uh, 10000 divided by h raised to 5 4 h value is 500 right so you will get uh, uh, n as a uh, 236.4 uh, uh, rpm okay so next part is velocity of the jet v1 okay so v1 is equals to cv into square root of 2gh right so cv you know uh, uh, 2 into g is 9.81 h is uh, 500 right so substitute all the values so v1 you will get 97.06 meter per second okay so the tangential velocity of the bucket that is u next part is u okay that is uh, uh, pi into square root of 2gh so pi value is 0.46 into square root of 2 into 9.81 into 500 okay so u value you will get uh, 45.56 meter per second okay so here uh, by this uh, tangential velocity formula we have to find the caps d okay so that is u is equals to pi dn divided by 60 right so tangential velocity uh, that uh, u value you already known right so substitute u value and find the caps d value so caps d value you will get 45.56 meter per second okay so last part of the problem is uh, we have to find diameter of the wheel right so diameter of the wheel uh, d is uh, uh, 3.68 meter okay so uh, overall efficiency is equals to p into 1000 divided by rho q into gh right so here we have to find the total so in this uh, uh, problem uh, last part is we have to find the discharge okay so for uh, uh, to find the discharge we have to use the overall efficiency formula right that is p into 1000 divided by uh, rho q into gh okay all the values are known only the unknown term is q right so the substitute all the values and uh, q value you will get uh, 2.548 meter cube per second okay so uh, that is which is equals to pi into d square divided pi into small d square divided by 4 right which is equals to small into pi d square divided by 4 okay into v1 that is v1 value is 97.06 okay so the diam diameter of the jet you will get d is equals to 0 0.183 or 18.3 centimeter okay and this is about the second problem okay thank you